Hey folks, and welcome to Currently Reading. So it apparently been two months since the last Currently Reading video. Yes, as you can tell, I keep a very regular and tight schedule on these. In all honesty, it's a miracle I even remembered about them today. Eh, what are you gonna do? Fuck, I can't even remember if, I, if they used to be more regular a year ago or not. It's been so long. Feels like decades. But, oh well, oh well, at least I remembered now. I know, honesty, lately I've just been... I think I got into that, you know, pressure of, you know, booktube, you need to read more. You know, a lot of books and finish and... Eh, it just got me a bit in a downer. Recently I've been getting out of it, I just told myself. Just read whatever you feel like it. I mean, no, no one is sitting on their, you know, on pins and needles waiting for you to uh, show many books. So, now, uh, you know, I relaxed, and I'm just reading at whatever pace I'm reading. Screw everything else. Alright, let's get to the books. So, uh, for this, actually, for this past month, I've been uh, reading Hellboy. An Assortment of Horrors. Now this is Mike M M Megalons M Meganalos, um Hellboy. Now this is a uh, collection of stories by him and also a bunch of other uh, writers. When I do the thoughts video, I'll just I'll list them all down below because I I don't re I don't even remember who wrote what. So yeah, so this is like basically a collection of stories with Hellboy, and it's been awesome, honestly. I, I love some stories uh, a bit more than the others, but overall, uh, I'm really loving this. I'm so glad I grabbed it when I saw it. I'm, I guess I'm kind of getting closer to the end. I'm on page 150-something. I'll reach, uh, and this has, um, I think, 200-and-something pages. So, I, I think I'll be finishing soon. It's got a really kind of Neil Gaiman feeling to it. The whole, um, I forgot to say it yesterday in my thoughts on the, on the Neverwhere comic. It, and Neil Gaiman's got that whole where, you know, the hero, it's not like your usual, you know, the chosen hero. And, and Neverwhere just feels like, you know, it just happened by chance. It's not something, you know, great and cosmic, it's just you happen to be there, let's go. Which, which I kind of do love. And uh, this book made me probably realize why I love Hellboy so much, well, besides the, his uh, look. I, um, Mike, Mike, Mike M, I'm just going to call him, actually has a bit of, you know, an introduction sort of thing. I mean, he says uh, that, you know, what we probably love about Hellboy is his humanity. Which is true, because if you take away, you know, the demon look, Hellboy is just this really big and, <laughs> and cool guy that you'd love to hang out around with. And I just, eh, I just love Hellboy. It's probably another one of the reasons, and I just didn't realize it. Yeah, because besides really the looking like a demon, you don't really feel Hellboy is much of a demon. Hell, I'm sure once you get used to his looks, you, you don't even think about it. You know, Hellboy is just Hellboy. And I love Hellboy. There's a bunch of uh, really cool stories, some are weirder missions that Hellboy has done in, in different years as well. And I don't know if he even gets into the 2000s in, in this one. I think the first I got was nine, 1980s. You know, we also have Liz there and the Professor. Well, not, not much of the Professor currently and all sorts of, you know, creatures and missions that Hellboy has done. Uh, it's really great. And if you find those somewhere, I'd, I really do recommend you giving it a read. Yeah, so the, yeah, that's about it with this one. I'll talk about it more in my... Uh, Thoughts video that I'll do on it. And next, I have recently started uh, Lady Justice. Let me just, okay, here. By Anil Gaiman's Lady Justice. It's a, this is the first volume. 
the Lady Justice, as well as about Lady Justice. You know, like the statue. So, um, in here you have, um, all sorts of women who've all uh, been through something very horrible. And this Lady Justice gives them a chance to avenge, you know, whoever wronged them. And as you know, Justice is blind. So yeah, I'm currently with the first girl. I, uh, I'll get, okay, a bit of spoilers, I'll get into her a little bit. So, she, she had uh, pretty much of a shitty life. She lost her mom when she was, uh, when she was five. Then, uh, later on, um, she had a car accident where she lost her dad and her ability to walk. She used to be a dancer. And now as we go into our story, she loses not both of her brothers. She loses them at the same time. And it's just, uh, wow. Tragedy hits you on all corners in the beginning. And so Lady Justice arrives to give her the, you know, now the opportunity with her powers to avenge, to get, to get revenge, you know, and, and to get justice, sorry. Then, I mean, it, it is interesting. I also kind of thought, like, does that actually help them later, you know, the stories we've read where, you know, you, you, you get your revenge, but then what? Kind of makes me wonder what will be in the end of the story. Like, okay, she kills the people who took, you know, well, because of them she lost her brothers, but then what? Like, I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen in the end. I mean, if, if you focused all, you know, everything just on that, what do you do afterwards? Kind of brings me back to the Princess Bride. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, who saw it. Hey, but he got to be a captain of a pirate ship in the end, so that's cool. Uh, spoilers for Princess Bride. So yeah, I mean, I, I love it. And one and the, one of the things I really love about it is that it got numbers on the pages. I love it. I wish comics had more numbers. Because I'm always like feeling the page. Is there another one there? Because I'm never sure. It annoys me. Eh, but I think that's just a personal problem. I also do love, uh, wait, show, uh... I also love the art. Man, Neil Gaiman's stories need some, you know, kooky art style. Something that just looks out of it entirely and super cool like this. It just so fits with the story. Yeah, it's, um... He, he needs a style that's, you know, in, in a way... Very, I don't know, outlandish, bizarre. Kind of a bizarre art style for his, um, for his stories. Also, maybe a bit grit, uh, gritty as well. I mean, I, I don't see him having, you know, uh, shit. Like the, um, like the artist who did the, for the new champions. I don't remember the name of the artist, but like, the, you know, the, the, the inside... That kind of art style, I just, I just don't see a Neil Gaiman comic having. It just, it would feel weird, you know. It'd be like, eh, it doesn't connect. Ah, right, but anyway, Neil Gaiman is awesome. Love him or hate him, the man has one hell of a wacky brain, and I love it. I do hope to someday meet him, although I have no idea what I would say even if I did. I don't know, maybe hi. Eh. Well, since that probably won't happen, I think we're good. Alright, so that is about it, folks. Uh, these are really good. I do recommend you give these a try if you find them. And, well, I don't know when the next one will be, in all honesty. I'm not even gonna say when. It'll be when it will be. I have no idea at this point. Alright, folks, till next time. Bye.